Hello. Hello. We have great news today. We finally finished the wooden deck of our tiny shipping container house. So let's get started. Well, it's amazing the feeling of finally seeing the wooden deck done. Finally, yeah. It seems like we've been working on that for like <laughs> forever. I mean, like, I don't know, like, we've been working for over two months. And we are in love. Of yeah, course. we are basically, I don't know, it's just like, <laughs> seems like the shipping container has a huge wooden hat now. <laughs> it looks much better. It's like so much cooler with the hat on the top. But I guess we talked already way too much about the wooden deck. I think it's fair for us I mean, fair for you guys to see. <laughs> it's done. <laughs> that's done. So, we, this episode, we're going to start straight away showing you guys the process of the finally, assembling. the final assembly. So, we're going to finish the deckings. That's just a few parts of the deckings. And then we're going to show you guys the assembling of the fascia boards. Fascia. And the fascia? Yeah, fascia boards. <laughs> and then we're going to show you guys the soffits. So, basically, in the end, you're going to see the whole ready, done deck. So, oh. video clip. No. We're finally done with the west roof and deck and now we just need to do the finishings around the roof and the decking and we are 100% done and we can start working on the inside of the house. Are you excited? So next step we're gonna measure all the fascia boards so we need to cut in the right length and then we're gonna cut, paint and you're gonna finish this with a neck. Wait, wait, stop right there. I guess you guys have seen way too much footage of us cutting wood and applying stain, right? Yeah. It's always the same thing. We just cut to the right length and then we apply two coats of stain and then we start assembly. So today we're gonna do different. We're gonna skip this part and go straight to the assembly. So let's get back to the video clip now. Going on? Yeah. Long story short, one of the joists is, is too short, so there is a gap here and I cannot screw there. So I'm gonna put a piece of wood, screw this to the end of the joist, and then this to this. Okay. We'll see. There's one thing we forgot to talk, we never talk about yet. One thing that's, another thing that slows us down on the decking is batteries. This one, the screwdriver, always uses more battery than this one. And at some point we always run out of battery, so we need to keep changing from one to the other. And that's really, oh, Magu. Let me present you Magu. Magu. So basically, 
we need to change the battery from this one to this one to from this one until we run out of again. So right now we need to wait for a little while until it recharges and then we can do the other two sides. But we'll get there. Look at that. Someone is having fun. Waiting for? <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess that's it for today. The sun is going. Yeah, the sun is gone. It's really dark. It's really too loud for the neighbors. Yeah, poor so, neighbors. Uh, <laughs> get kicked out of here. So, <laughs> wish you guys more. I know it sounds and looks slow, but it's so much harder. You have no idea. It's so much harder to work upside down. I mean, upside down. <laughs> then it was to work on the decking itself. We thought the decking was hard, but this is just a lot harder. And what are you getting there? Let's keep working. Though. We have one problem. We did four layers of the, how do you call it? Soffit. But the last one is not the exactly size. So I need to cut the excess and the excess has an angle. So my friend Michael gave the idea of using a circle saw and you know, use the fascia board as a guide and just cut like two and a half centimeters. I'm not, I don't know, I'm, I'm not really good friends with the circular saw. I <laughs> use like maybe twice in my life and I'm a little bit scared to work with we that did, upside down. We didn't have a good experience. But I'm gonna try in a small piece, it's like a meter and a half. So let's see if it works. Fingers crossed. Let's do it. So that's the guide.
I mean, <laughs> I'm a little bit dirty now. I can tell. <laughs> Tired already? Yep, yeah, need to be. You need to do it slowly, piece by piece. Now you need to move a little bit. And just keep going until we finish. We'll Today? <laughs> By the way, this is just the primer, so we can use the metallic tape and attach better. One more done. Well, well, here we have one small problem. Like the other side, I'm gonna use this as my guide to run the circular saw and cut the feet, the last part of this. But here. It's a little I bit. I cannot see, baby. You cannot see? No. Here? No, you can see? Mm, yeah, but yeah. just so you understand, this is sticking out, so it's a little bit too big. So when I use this as my guide, I won't touch the guide because this is sticking out. So I need to mark okay. this small piece. Yep. And I need to cut a little fillet, just a small fillet, and then I can use this as a guide for the final cut. So we're gonna try this on this table saw that I never use it. So the first cut's gonna be a, you know, <laughs> not straight one already, but we'll do it. Let's go to the circle saw now. I never used this machine ever. I never turned one on in my life. But I need to test because to finish the wooden deck, there are like three cuts we need to do, and we need to do with this one because with the circular saw, the regular one, I won't be able to do it. So first I'm gonna run a test with this small piece of wood just to check how it goes. And then after lunch, you're gonna finally cut what we need. Are you nervous? Yeah, a little bit, but it'll be fine. <laughs> but so I'm gonna try without this action. Okay. So now I'm doing a test. I need six centimeters wide piece of wood. So I just measure have a six centimeters gap and let's see if it works. Six centimeters right there. Perfect. So? Well, I knew something was wrong. This is completely wrong. Don't try to do that at home. This doesn't work. That's why people have slats, you know, this box that they put the wood inside in a different angle and then just cross cut. That's just like this, but bigger. I should have a slat to do that. This doesn't work. This is just for a straight cut, I guess. But don't do the same at home as it might get hurt. Yeah, even though I did a mistake, I saw on time, so it's perfect because see now it's flush here. Here I cut, but I'm gonna cut even more with the circle saw here, so it's fine. So I, now you just need to screw that on place and then take the last bit with the circle saw. Perfect. Good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Now we just need to keep moving until we get there. We need to come from this side to this side. It's ready.
well, we have one less layer of decking to install, and this one, like, as you can see, it's thicker because uh, we didn't do the math right. So in the end, we're gonna have one thicker one, but it's fine. But we have one problem to fix because there is one point that the layer needs to be thin again, and then we get this cut, right? This is a mistake, don't worry. <laughs> but you know, the round edges here is not round anymore. So now we got a router, 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 router yeah. a router bit that we think is gonna do the same joint. So we're gonna do the same joint here all the way to the end. Yep. Good. Exactly as I wanted, except for this <laughs> little cut. Yeah, I used the table saw to cut this, but I should have stopped before getting to here, and I stopped too late, and then I did this mistake. Instead, I should, I should <laughs> use this other kind of cutting device, but it's all good. My turn. So what's that? Filler with wooden powder to fix your... I mean, the roof and her. Then. 
That looks pretty cool, actually. I'm ready. Well, it's actually weird how quick the process seems to be on the video. Yeah, in reality, it was not quick at all. I mean, like on videos, just blah, 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 and done. And in the reality, we spent like three weeks. Three weeks? On the finishing. Almost three months, yeah. yeah, yeah. And on this the episode, yeah. On this <laughs> episode, we spent like maybe two, three weeks working on this episode. But in reality, every single task is a lot more complicated than when you put, you know, edit a video together. Yeah. But, I mean, we are really, really, really excited with the results, and that's really cool. I mean, like, it's just amazing to, you know, stare at the you know the, the head of the, yeah it's just like i don't know it's just okay, yesterday yesterday when we finish <laughs> i couldn't go home it's just like i would see it and be like oh that <laughs> looks so true. cool yeah i was like can i just watch it a little bit longer it's just, it's, <laughs> there is one more thing we need to fix today yeah we would like to correct the information that we gave last week yeah we had our first patron yeah and back then we just had his email address yeah. So we didn't really know his name. Yeah, so we sent him an email and he didn't answer on time to the last video. And now we have this name, his name. It's... Leonard Bennett. Yeah. So we really want to thank you, Leonard, for helping us and for believing on our dream. And that's really, really important. And that's... We really, really appreciate that. It's just yeah. amazing how someone from so far away, he's from Australia, just, I don't know, wants to help on. us yeah. to live our dream so that's pretty cool and we have great news we have two more patrons today yep we have two more patrons from yesterday actually yeah. yesterday we got two new patrons yeah and their names are we we're gonna try to say their name but christine clauk uh we're gonna write just to make sure we <laughs> get it right and petro Peto petkov petko petko petkov and guys we really appreciate that's yeah, amazing and just uh, some people are asking still they don't know what patron is and what we mean by patron so this week we decide we're gonna have an extra video what Between I mean by extra Monday and Monday, the next Monday. yeah what I mean by extra is just not uh, a building video so we are not gonna post on Monday because Monday yeah. is just our you know tiny house videos yeah. so we did an entire video explaining step by step what patron is and how it works and what we expect it with and everything yeah. so if you watch the video I guess you're gonna understand what we mean maybe on Wednesday? I think maybe, yeah, maybe on Wednesday, we're not sure. Maybe Wednesday, Thursday, maybe, we, we'll okay. see. But just a sneak peek, if you are a patron, you, you have, have some perks. Yeah, you have extra access. What I, we mean by that is that, you know, f for example, next week's episode is a surprise. We're not going to tell you guys yet. <laughs> you're going to wait until next Monday to know what you're going to do an episode about. But for patrons, we're going to do a blog post probably like in two days. So everyone that's a patron is gonna know in that events what's gonna be next episode so basically patron is a way for people to get closer to us you know to have a closer relationship because you know our ch the channel is growing really quick we're growing like you know like 3,000 people a month so that means that at one point it's hard to communicate with everyone all the time so if you're a patron it's just like the you know a small community a small community we're trying to get like together people that are really 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 excited about our project as much as we are and you know interact closer to them yeah. and I think it's fair for them to know what's going on and what we think and what share. we think about next you know to share closer you know information and more like and yeah backstage and of yeah. what we do you That's know like it. the you know the making of so yeah. basically they can follow the making of why we do the episodes I guess that's it that's it so we see you guys next, next Monday, Monday.